Godwin TSA Abuja The federal government has filed a six-count criminal charge against the Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN, Justice Walter Samuel Nakanu Anogan, over alleged non-declaration of assets that breached the provisions of the Code of Conduct Bureau Act. Already, the Code of Conduct Tribunal, CCT, has confirmed that the CJN would be arraigned tomorrow. Justice Onogan is also being accused of maintaining domiciliary foreign currencies account, which comprised dollars account, pound sterling account and euro account, which allegedly ran contrary to relevant laws, especially for public office holders. He has been asked to immediately vacate his exalted office as head of the nation's judiciary over the alleged sundry asset declaration issues. In a statement issued yesterday, the Code of Conduct Tribunal said that it has scheduled Monday, January 14, for the commencement of the trial against Justice Onogan on the alleged charges. This, the tribunal explained, was consequent to application filed by the Code of Conduct Bureau to the CCT chairman yesterday for the trial to commence against the Chief Justice of Nigeria on six-count charges. The statement signed by Ibrahim Al-Hassan, head, Press and Public Relations, Code of Conduct Tribunal, said that a service of summons has already been served on the CJN, saying that a three-man panel led by Justice Dan Lati Y. Umar will commence the trial tomorrow. Al-Hassan further disclosed that the application was filed yesterday by the operatives of CCB, dated January 11, 2019 and signed by Muz Ibrahim Usmon and Fatima Danjuma Ali, containing the six-count charges. Justice Nogan whose appointment suffered unprecedented delay by President Muhammadu Buhari over undisclosed issues may be the first CJN in Nigeria to be arraigned for criminal charges by the federal government. Sunday Sun learnt that a part of motion on notice is to be filed against him praying the tribunal to order him to vacate office and recuse himself so as to prevent alleged interference in his arraignment and trial. The decision for his arraignment followed a petition dated January 7, 2019 address to the Chairman, Code of Conduct Bureau. The said petition is entitled, Petition Against, Honorable Mr. Justice W. S. Nikanu Anogan, GCON, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, for sundry breaches of the Code of Conduct Bureau requirements for public officials, including non-declaration and false declaration of assets. The petition which was signed by Chief Dennis Agamya accused a CJN of ownership of sundry accounts primarily funded through cash deposits made by himself up to as recently as August 10, 2016, which appeared to have been run in a manner inconsistent with financial transparency and Code of Conduct for public officials. Especially, the petitioner alleged that Justice Onogan made five different cash deposits of $10,000 each on March 8, 2011 into Standard Chartered Bank account $1,062,650. Also on June 7, 2011, two separate cash deposits of $5,000 each were made by Justice Onogan, followed by four cash deposits of $10,000 each. On June 27, 2011, Justice Onogan was also alleged to have made another set of five separate cash deposits of $10,000 each and made four more cash deposits of $10,000 each on the following day of June 28, 2011. In addition, the petition alleged that the CJN did not declare his assets immediately after taking oath of office, contrary to Section 15 of Code of Conduct Bureau and Tribunal. that the Code of Conduct Bureau forms, form CCB1, of HUN. Justice Onogan for 2014 and 2016 were dated and filed on the same day and his acknowledgement slip SCN 000014 was issued on December 14, 2016, just as his acknowledgement slip for SCN 000015 was also issued on December 14, 2016, at which point Justice Onogan had become the Chief Justice of Nigeria. It was further alleged by the petitioner that, in filling the section on details of assets, particularly cash, in Nigerian banks, his lordship, as declarant SCN 000014 mentioned only two bank accounts, Union Bank Account.
Number 0214649348 in Abuja, with balance of N9, 536, 407 as at November 14, 2014 and Union Bank account number 0012783291 in Calabar, with balance of N11, 456, 311 as at November 2014. The sources of the funds in these accounts are stated as salaries, estiquids and allowances. As declarant SCN 000015, His Lordship, however, lists seven bank accounts, Standard Chartered Account 00010626667, with balance of N3, 221, 807.05 as at November 14, 2016, Standard Chartered Account 00010626667, with balance of $164,804.82, as at November 14, 2016, Standard Chartered Account 500,106,000, 1286 with a balance of euros 55 154.56 as at November 14 2016 standard chartered account 5 billion 1 million 62,679 with balance of 108 British pounds 352.2 as at November 14 2016 standard chartered account 5 billion 1 million 62,693 with balance of an 8 131 195.27 as at November 14 2016 Union Bank Bank account 00021464934 with balance event 23, 261, 568.89 as at November 14, 2016 and Union Bank account 00127832911 with balance event 14, 695, 029.12 as at November 14, 2016. That prior to 2016, His Lordship appears to have suppressed or otherwise concealed the existence of these multiple domiciliary accounts owned by him, as well as the substantial cash balance in them. Standard Chartered Bank Dollar Account 1,062,650 had a balance of $391,401.28 on January 31, 2011. The Standard Chartered Bank Euro Account 5,001,062,682 had a balance of Euro 49,971.71 on January 31, 2011 and Standard Chartered Bank Pound Sterling Account 5,001,062,679 had a balance of 23 British Pounds 409.66 on February 28, 2011. It is curious that these domiciliary